what is going on today guys and today in this video i have 11 tips and tricks for you guys for hell divers so let's go ahead and get into it for tip number one make sure you guys look around for hidden canisters that are lodged into the side of like cliffs or mountains rocks or whatever just like this and you want to make sure you blow it open with a grenade because it can hold weapons or super credits inside of it so always keep your eye out for different color crates and stuff in the side of mountains now for tip number two make sure you guys always keep an eye out for this uh, artillery piece that is normally on the map sometimes it might not be but if you keep an eye out for it you can actually go activate this you will actually be able to use the artillery rounds that you put into the artillery piece while you guys are in this mission and you'll be able to find the artillery rounds laying around the area of the artillery gun so keep an eye out for that and you want to make sure you want to move the artillery pieces as fast as you can so what you want to do is you want to just pick it up press whatever button it is and just keep rapidly pressing it while you're moving at the same time as you guys can see right here i am moving quite quick with this huge artillery round so keep doing this until you get to the artillery gun and place it in the chamber but don't forget you have to activate the control panel in order to be able to put the rounds in the gun itself and once you put all five rounds into the gun you will have to go to the control panel again to activate it and once you activate it the gun will be operational with the rounds that you put into it so be sure to check all the rounds names because each round does something different For tip number three, make sure you guys keep an eye out for a radar station. You always want to activate the radar station if you guys want to maximize your mission that you are in. Because once you unlock the radar station, you will be able to see every area on the map. You'll be able to see all bug locations, all point of interest while you are in this mission. So make sure you guys do this. So once you get to this tower, what you want to do is you just want to clear out the area of any bugs or anything that's around the area. And then you want to go to the control panel and then you want to activate the control panel and when you activate it you're going to have to align the satellite in order to be able to activate it again and once you activate it you're going to have to activate the satellite and then you're going to have to move the satellite around until you find the right location in order to activate it again to, so it'll be fully operational now normally it takes two people to do this but in this case it does not because when you are turning the satellite it will make a noise for when you get it into the right direction that it needs to be in. So keep your ear out for that when it makes the right noise. I will go ahead and play it a few times so you guys can hear what the noise sound like. And once you get it into the right position, all you want to do is you just want to go back and activate the terminal again and then you are basically done. And then you can look at your map and see all the good stuff that is unlocked on the map that you can go explore. For tip number four, always check out the yellow beacons. As you guys can see here, there's a yellow beacon flashing up in the air. Always go check these because in these containers, they hold super credits, war bonds, and also they could hold a, a, like a heavy weapon that you guys could use while you are in the mission. And as you guys know, you can actually buy super credits with actual money. And so this is an easy way to get some super credits without having to spend some real money. For tip number five, as soon as you start your mission and land on the planet, you always want to throw out your heavy weapon or your backpack or whatever it is that you have on you. Anything that you carry with you, you always want to make sure you throw that out as soon as you start your mission. Now for tip number six, if you are in a group, always remember to ping the high value targets and when I say high value targets, I mean like the big huge chargers or the big bio mutant guys, whatever they are. Anything that is big and hard to kill, you always want to remember to ping it. That way if you, get, if you are playing with random people, they will know what to shoot at first. So always ping your targets. For tip number seven, if you guys want to change the fire rate or turn your flashlight off or anything on your gun, always remember to hold down your reload button. That way you will be able to change from semi-automatic to automatic or turn your flashlight on to off. Different weapons have their own different uh, things they can do for when you hold down your reload button. So always check your weapon that you are using to be able to see what they're actually able to do when you hold down your reload button. And another thing, the ammo that is in your magazine, if you do not use all of that ammo in your magazine, it will just become useless for when you reload. Say you only shoot like 
10 shots and you still have like another 15 left, if you go ahead and reload for a new magazine, the ammo that is in that magazine, it, it, just, it just goes to waste. So you always make sure to unload your magazines every time you shoot something. For tip number eight, don't forget you guys can go into first person mode only when you aim down sight. And remember, some weapons are better when you aim down sight, so keep that in mind. But you are actually able to go into first person mode with any weapon that you are using. I'm not sure what it is on controller or anything like that, but I know for mouse and keyboard, all you have to do is click in your middle mouse scroll wheel, middle mouse button, whatever it is that you want to call it, and you will go into first person mode. For tip number nine, if you accidentally pick up somebody's like backpack thing that they're carrying or accidentally pick up somebody's weapon, you are actually able to drop them. You just have to figure out what button it is that allows you to drop it, but you are actually able to drop an item back to the player if you accidentally pick something up. So keep that in mind. This is a very useful tip. For tip number 10, always make sure to start a mission off with boosters and make sure your teammates also have boosters on as well because these boosters actually do help out quite a lot. You're actually able to buy boosters from the Helldivers like little shop you can go to. As you guys can see here, there are different types of boosters you can pick up. So make sure to check out all the boosters and see which one will help your team out the most. For tip number 11, make sure to check out your armors because each armor has its own passive ability, which they do different things. So always remember to check out your armors. Helmets and capes do not have any type of passive abilities. They are just simply cosmetic. So keep that in mind. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, please go ahead and leave a comment. And if you guys found this video helpful in any way, please make sure to hit that like button. And without further ado, I will talk to you guys later.